G'day everybody, I'm Daz, this is my Aussie Gardening Kitchen and today I'm going to show you how we make the most awesome French dip sandwiches here at home in our own kitchen. So do stick around because I'm going to break this down into easy steps for anyone to follow. Anyone of any skill level will be able to watch this and confidently make it at home in their own kitchen. So to start off we've got this beautiful cut of beef here, it's a rump roast and this one actually comes marinated which normally we don't get but hey that's fine, marinated beef for the win. Can't complain about that. Emma gets it into a nice hot pan and she takes off the netting. We don't really worry about the netting because it's going to be slow cooking for quite a few hours and if it falls apart that's fine. And she's making sure that she seals all the edges so it's nicely coloured and sealed on the outside. Emma takes the beef over to the crock pot or the slow cooker as we call it here pops it in and as you can see we've got some marinade from the packet in there that marinades extra flavour so why not use it so she's now got the onions in the pan and she's just stirred them around and made sure that nothing's burning on the bottom of the pan and she's also scraping up that flavour of the beef onto the onions so it's just a matter of getting them to brown a little bit now and then next she'll be adding the rest of the ingredients like the garlic then goes the garlic and of course as always make sure you never burn the garlic because it does go bitter. Emma likes to put the wine in now because it's going to deglaze the bottom of the pan and by deglazing what it's going to do is lift that beautiful flavour off the bottom there. So the other sauces go in next like Worcestershire sauce and soy sauce. It's a dark soy sauce, the one that Emma just used. A little bit of thyme goes in, give it a bit of a stir around, get all those flavours to mix in together. Black pepper to taste. Beef stock goes in, or bouillon as other people will say. So she's only added a little bit of the beef bouillon, or the beef stock, and the rest of it's going to go over into the crock pot just in a minute. And in goes the rest of the beef bouillon. And just a few bay leaves. Beautiful. So that stays on low with our dodgy broken handle there. And now we have the agony of spending all day smelling this delicious aroma as it cooks for the entire day. Okay, it's been seven hours. Seven hours I've had to wait for this and now it's time. Emma's about to pull it all out and get it ready, so let's do this. So what Emma's going to do here is she's taking it out and putting it into this container here. And then she's going to take all this beautiful juice and strain it over here. Look at those onions. That's what we were saying earlier today about cutting those onions thick. Oh, great job, Em. Now, the onions have gone to mush, but by cutting them large, it just means they're not going to break down and disappear in the liquid when it's cooking all day. So the other thing I forgot to mention was to watch out for the bay leaves. We're quite happy to dip our sandwiches into a beautiful broth like this. But if you'd like to, you can thicken it. So all you do is take it over to the stove, bring it to a nice rolling simmer, and then mix some cornstarch or corn flour, as we say in Australia into some cold water and then add that to it, stir it and just wait for it to thicken up to the way you want it and yeah away you go. But for us, look at that, we're really happy with that and we're looking forward to this very much. So now Emma's just getting the bread and obviously slicing it for the sandwiches. So it's up to you what bread you use. We like a crusty loaf with sesame seeds the flavour of the sesame seeds is always an added bonus and you can't go wrong with crusty bread. And because we're Australians, Emma's stopped midway through preparing the family meal. So she can put Vegemite, which has nachos written on the label. It must be a promotion. She's putting Vegemite on the remaining piece of bread and is now going to stop the family dinner. So yes, I won't film it because she'll get upset. But we're all now waiting a bit longer because 
Emma has done a very Australian thing and paused everything for Vegemite on fresh bread. So now that Emma's back to making the family food after that Vegemite break, she's just going to butter the bread and slice cheese and put cheese on the bread. Now it's time for Emma to cut the cheese. <laughs> I said cut the cheese. Sorry. So now Emma's just going to shred up the meat in the same container that she put it into. She's not really worried about precise slices or which way she cuts it. It's just basically going to fall apart anyway. So now it's just time to assemble all the sandwiches. And the pan's preheated. So it's just a matter of now browning off the bread in the pan and getting it nice and crispy on the outside of that delicious butter. So now all we're doing here is we're browning off the bread on both sides. So this will obviously get turned over when the bottom side's browned. Beautiful. And while they're browning on the second side, we've now got the liquid heating up on the stove to get nice and hot so we can dip the sandwiches into a beautiful hot broth. Now we just get some of the nice hot broth into a bowl, like so. Slice that delicious sandwich. Get it onto the plate. And that is job done. This is an absolute favorite at our house and I really do recommend nice thick cut potato chips as a side dish. You'll absolutely love the combination of all the crunchiness going on and dipping into that nice beautiful beef broth. Oh, my mouth's watering as I'm talking and I'm actually finding it hard to talk because my mouth's watering that much. We just like it so much and I get excited talking about it. If you wouldn't mind, I would love for you to check out this video on the screen next. It's another one that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Thank you so much for being with me here today. I do appreciate it as always. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.